St. Joe Live Movie Reviews. Hi, I'm Andrew Gogg. And I'm Cecilia Reeves. And we are here to review X-Men Apocalypse. Now, Cecilia, this is the fourth movie that Brian Singer has directed for the X-Men. Pretty good track record so far. What did you think of this? It was disappointing and underwhelming. Uh, there was a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> and that was about it. It was just a lot and not really a great movie at all. Right, I, this thing is jumping all over the place. We got a Magneto subplot, we got Mystique, we got Nightcrawler, we got something going on with Cyclops. We got Jean Grey, we've got Storm, we've got Psylocke. Right. Angel. And, yes, and <laughs> all of it is just kind of like, well, all right, yep, that's on the screen, like that's going on, I guess. Well, and there's not enough in the two and a half hours to give you anything more than just here's a mutant. Right, exactly. Even with Apocalypse, who I thought was so cool in the cartoon and in the comics, he's supposed to be so scary, and this, he's so dull. Oscar Isaac is just behind a bunch of makeup doing ominous monologues. His costume is not good, but the 80s costumes in it, I enjoyed. Okay, yeah, I will, I'll, I'll agree with that. And I think Quicksilver, <laughs> once again, just like in Days of Future Past, he comes in and saves the day with a little bit of humor. But besides this, this is just uh, joyless. Yeah, it was not necessarily fun to watch. However, if you enjoy 3D movies, the 3D was totally worth it on this one. I will give it that, but coming off of the high of Captain America Civil War, Ooh, man, this is uh, this is not the movie to see right now. No, it's definitely a clunker as far as superhero movies are concerned. What would you give it for a rating? I'm going to go with the two. I'm going to go a little bit higher, two and a half. That's not a long That's review. That's generous. Yeah, yeah, it really is. <laughs> uh, so to read my review, check out St. Joe Live and Friday's edition of the St. Joseph News Press. And I'll be giving you your forecast on weekdays. Of course.